So you wanna make a web comic, huh? Step one, make a story. If you're already thinking of making a webcomic, you probably already do have a story in mind. As for me, I don't really have a solid story, but I do have lots of imagined scenarios that I think about before going to sleep. So that will do. But seriously though, if you're gonna write a story, don't just make things up as you go. It's better to have an actual outline, like this whole thing right here. This is your guide. I'm sure this is familiar to you because literally everyone learns this in like fifth grade or something. Anyway, step two, create simple characters. Character design is literally just as important as the story, in my non-humble opinion. Like literally, I can name so many shows that I started watching because of a single character. A character that is simp worthy. So don't just make them bland, make them simpable. Whether it's because they have a hot face or a hot personality, give people a reason to simp for your characters, to keep watching for them. Like sometimes I be just scrolling on Pinterest and I see a hot character and I'm like, holy crap, where is he from? I gotta read this comic. For example, I used to watch Jujutsu Kaisen for Sukuna. Literally though, I'm not even exaggerating. The whole season, I was waiting for him to show up because he is the light of my life. And honestly, most people are also simps. Anyway, there are plenty of stuff that you can do to spice up your characters. So since my sample webcomic will be set in school, of course I have to incorporate a uniform. But obviously we want to spice up the design. This is of course just a draft so it's still kind of bland, but I do have a video on how to make simple OCs so you can check them out later. Anyway, once you got the story and the characters, it's time to proceed to step 3. Think about the technical stuff. This is a very boring but unskippable part, honestly. Because if you're making a webcomic, you got gotta publish it somewhere. Think about where you're gonna publish your comic, because lots of these sites have certain requirements. For example, for webtoon, you can only have pages that are up to 800 pixels wide and 1 to 80 pixels long. Great, so now that you have that information, you can now plan your webcomics. Big brain. Step 4. Make your process smooth. So here's the thing, you can just do your own thing and end up spending 5 hours just to make a single page. or you you can listen to me. Listen, I may not be a professional webcomic artist, however, I do have a PhD in working smart. Also, I did used to make webcomics back in the day, it sucked though so I'm not gonna show it to you guys. But anyway, I'm gonna give you tips on how to make webcomics quickly and efficiently, so keep watching. But before that, this video is sponsored by Tears of Themis. Tears of Themis is a free-to-play Otome game developed by Hoyoverse. That's right, the very same people who made Genshin Impact. So Tears of Themis is a detective adventure game with a bit of romance. Basically, you're an attorney in the city of Celis. You get to investigate a lot of crime scenes to unravel mysteries. And uh, you have a hot partner, period take all of my money. So you have to collect evidence by talking to people and also argue with the Karens, rock, paper, scissors style. You could also fight in court, so that's pretty cool. So the game mechanics are cool and all, but I know y'all thirsty folks. I know y'all are waiting for the hot guys. So you can develop a romance with four hunks. My personal favorite is Artem Wing, you know, the hot attorney, because he's literally the light of my life, the man of my dreams. And also his voice. Okay, just listen to it, okay? I love you. And also, you can collect cards featuring different illustrations of the guy that you sim for. Also, Tears of Themis recently launched an event on April 29 called Secrets of the Tomb, which means that there are new collectible card illustrations. So download Tears of Themis now and embark on a crazy adventure. All the links will be in the description. So we're now at step 5 which is storyboarding. So a storyboard is basically a very rough doodle of what you want to see in your comic. It's pretty much like a draft. The very first rule is to of course establish the setting. You want your viewers to know where the heck the story is happening. So I would want to show the setting in the first panel right here. This is set in classroom A. So anyway, for storyboards, what I want 
is to very quickly draw how I want it to happen. So as you can see, everything is simplified. It's a very rough outline, but just make sure that after doodling it, you can still understand what the heck you just drew. Because when you come back to it, you might not understand your doodle. That happens a lot. Step six, drawing the lines. So first off, just basically draw a very, very rough sketch of how you want your art to look like. Like it could literally just be stickmen. What we're after here is the panels. You need to draw these boxes, also known as panels, first before doing anything else. The sketches are just there to help visualize where you're gonna put it. So the first thing we're gonna do is to lay out the panels. So I'm using a tool for making panels. Most drawing apps have them. I'm using Clip Studio, by the way. You can check them out in the description. The next thing you're gonna do is a more serious version of your sketch. Then, afterwards, make the line art. Just draw everything more seriously and more importantly, make the lines cleaner. So when you're drawing comics or when you're drawing in general, I do have a golden rule that I want you guys to keep in mind, all right? This is a very ancient Chinese drawing method that my ancestors taught me. So remember this, golden rule, work fast, but not crap. What you want is to make your art as fast as possible without sacrificing the quality of your art. Because here's the hard truth, webcomics are really tedious and they're gonna take so long to make. That is why you have no choice but to find shortcuts or else you're gonna be burnt out and stop drawing for a year or something. So I have a lot of tips for that. For example, if you want to draw your characters changing emotions, just literally copy and paste your drawing and just replace his expression. But you shouldn't do this all the time because it might cheapen your art. Use it moderately, switch it up from time to time. Another example is using 3D models. Like why would I spend like an hour perfecting the proportions when I can just use 3D models? It's more time saving that way, it just doesn't make sense to suffer, know what I'm saying? Another tip is to simplify everything. The only two things that matter are the story and the characters. Everything else, important as well, yes, but they're secondary. Disclaimer though, there are a lot of web comments comics that have super duper detailed art, but that has a fandom of its own. It's a different kind of breed, okay? But yeah, the only thing that matters is that you get your point across. Step 7, color. So coloring is divided into two parts, base color and shadows. So base color is basically just the solid color that you put on your art before adding the details like shadows and highlights. To make things easier, you can create a color palette so you can just copy and paste the colors. What I'm doing right now is grouping the colors into separate parts. For example, I have a separate layer for the skin and a separate layer for the hair. This is super important in comics, okay? Because when you're drawing so many dang things at once, you gotta be organized. So anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my process on this drawing specifically so you can see the process clearly. So the first thing I'm gonna do is airbrush the hair so that it turns into a gradient like this. Then I'm gonna put a blush on the skin, around the eyes, nose, mouth, and yeah. The thing is I locked the skin layer so I can only color in the skin part, the hair as well. And that's basically the point of grouping it into layers. Once you got that thing going on in the skin, do not shade it yet. Make a separate layer and convert it into multiply so that it shades all the layers at once. Just shade the skin, the hair, the clothes. So anyway, I'm just shading it very simply, not too detailed, okay? And for our final touch, here is a really good tip that is easy yet changes your drawing so much. So what you're gonna do is lock the line art layer and then select a saturated but dark color like this dark red color. And then you're gonna use an airbrush to lightly brush that color onto the line art. See, it's a very subtle difference, but it does a lot. Oh, and of course, to add highlights to the eyes. And I basically just did the same for the other drawings. Now all that stuff to do is to add the bubbles and the text. And we're finished. And all you gotta do is export it. By the way, this is just a quick guide for beginners. Thank you, Tears of Themis, for sponsoring this video. Anyway, watch this video next, and I'll see you there. Stay cool.